Hey guys, so some of you who have been on my uh, TikTok or Instagram, you might have known I actually recently made a flute, which I call the pig flute. There it is, there's a little pig on top. This whole uh, flute is made of PVC pipe, and it's actually a contrabass flute. I didn't actually figure out how to make this myself. No, I learned it from a guy called Blue Bear Flutes. He's on YouTube as well. I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can check out his channel. But I just wanted to very quickly talk you through how I made this. Um, just to give you an idea, and I also have some time lapses showing of how I did it. It was really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. If you're a little bit handy, you can try. This isn't the easiest flute to start with if it's your first time making instruments. For me, it was my first flute ever that I've made and my first instrument I think I've made. But I do uh, work in theater, so I spend quite a lot of time using my hands. The, the whole... Um, flute uh, was made of PVC pipe so you can just basically buy at a store for like under 20 bucks you can buy enough PVC pipe to do all this pretty well uh, the P the the length of this big pipe right here you can see that's the blue of the PVC pipe inside the length of the big pipe right here is 825 millimeters long and the the thickness of the PVC pipe is two inch thick PVC pipe then up here, here you can see the track. The track is actually hidden inside, the, further, deeper into this um, piece that connects and gets smaller. Okay? Uh, sort of like a funnel. Um, the track is further hidden inside. The track is about this long, and the measurements when you make that track are, uh, it's a 45 millimeter track, and then the hole, where there's a hole, that's another 10 millimeters off. So basically, 45 total, 35 going down to get to this point. Um, and if you watch Blue Bear's video, you can see more details on that. And in the, ahead in my video, you'll also see exactly. But I'm just telling you all the measurements up front so you know exactly how big everything is. And then there's uh, five holes on this flute. There's uh, three holes at the front. There you go and uh, two holes at the back. So this first hole up here is at 260 millimeters. The second hole is at 500 millimeters. And the last hole is at 550 millimeters. And then the back holes, this one's at 175 millimeters. So that's 175 millimeters. And this one's at 410 millimeters. What I did here, and this is a little different than the way Blue Bear did it, is uh, I went straight from this 2 inch to a 1 inch. Uh, it's a, kind of like a funnel or tapers off here, this piece, and then I went from 1 inch and then I just did that. Now the reason we have this curve is because the flute is so huge that you can't really play it. If, if, the, if the, the mouthpiece is all the way up here, it becomes very difficult to play. So uh, you have it down here, so it's easier to play. So I'm not very good at flute playing, so you probably heard a little bit of off notes there. And my breath is not very good. I'm just learning how to play this flute. So the flute does play well. Uh, and so I'm pretty happy with it, especially for a first instrument that I've ever made. So I thought, hey, I'll, why not share with other people and maybe they can learn how to make flutes too. Um, so those are all the basic measurements that you need to know. Um, as for the tools that you use with this, I mean, having the right tools really helps. I used a uh, hacksaw to cut the PVC basically into the right shapes, uh, the, sorry, the right lengths. And then I used a drill and a dremel to, uh, the dremel was specifically for this track. You can do it with just a file, but it's a lot more work. And, and if you have a Dremel, it's a little faster. And then the holes I did with just a standard drill. And it works pretty well. And then besides that, uh, if you want to, you can glue it. it. It does actually work without glue, some parts of it. Um, for me, I didn't have to glue uh, that much stuff. It actually fits pretty snugly, most of it. Um, and then the very last thing is at the very top here inside, you can't see it, but you'll see it in my videos later, there is a piece of wood, which is a plug. It's a stopper. Apparently, you can buy um, stopper plugs uh, that go fit inside PVC um, at some stores. I couldn't find that anywhere. Uh, I'm in Thailand, and I didn't see it anywhere in the, in the hardware store. So I ended up cutting 
a circular two inch piece of wood and just popping that in there and I glued that in there with some hot glue and it worked. So um, yeah, now I'll show you guys how the flute was made. Okay, it took me two tries because I messed up the first one, but I got a tone out of my homemade flute. Two back holes, three front ones. There's the air goes through there, and then it goes up to here. And that's where I play it. Now, just to add some decorative element. Thank mm -hmm. you.